welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Raina Scully. And I'm Trisha Hirschberger. The National Security Agency's top secret documents were just revealed. Turns out the NSA is garnering huge amounts of images from the internet to develop the largest database for facial recognition purposes. And of course, by doing this, they are terribly invading your privacy. The spy agency's reliance on facial recognition technology has grown considerably over the last few years due to new software that collects images from attachments and emails, text messages, social media, and even video conferences. We're a paranoid group of people here at SourceFed. We don't like it when we look at stuff on the internet and and the internet looks back at you and then remembers your face. The document reveals it's not just the traditional communications we're after, it's taking a full arsenal approach that digitally exploits the clues a target leaves behind in their regular activities on the net to compile biographic and biometric information that can help implement precision targeting. The purpose of collecting images for the sophisticated facial recognition program is set to be for counterterrorism efforts, i.e. tracking suspected terrorists and other intelligence targets all over the world. Now, it isn't clear how many people around the world and how many Americans whose privacy may have been invaded in the process. Federal privacy laws and surveillance laws don't provide specific protections for facial images, so legally there's nothing wrong with this highly invasive system because, you know, it's in the name of counterterrorism. You can't oppose that. No, no. Otherwise you're basically a terrorist. <laughs> no, no. Currently there are very few limits on facial imagery collection and guess what? That's your fault. Stop taking selfies. Nah, JK, it's not your fault. But stop taking selfies. I'm gonna take every selfie from now on and like send every email with this face. <laughs> However, a bunch of recent court decisions could lead to new constitutional protections for the privacy of sensitive face recognition data. What do you guys think? Do you feel this program is an appropriate measure for counterterrorism and counterintelligence efforts? Or do you think they're just invading your freaking privacy? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already, and check out this awesome annotation with everything else we ever do. I'm Raina Scully. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I feel like you were just like revealing something awesome. It's like the new <laughs> Batmobile. <laughs> da -da -da -da. But it's an annotation. I like that it's a Batmobile. Thank you.